Now that we've learned how to play a major scale on one string, we need to look at how to play it in a position using all of our strings. So the difference here is we're not going to look at the scale just in an octave. We're going to look at a scale how it relates to the entire position. Positions mean that we're playing one finger per fret. We're going to base this around using our second finger on the fifth fret of the low E string which means that our position dictates that our first finger is on the fourth fret, our second finger is on the fifth fret, our third finger is on the sixth fret, and our fourth finger is on the seventh fret. In order to play the entire range of the scale in this position, I don't just want to play one octave, I want to play every note of that scale that exists between my first finger on the fourth fret and my fourth finger on the seventh fret. So we're going to start with our second finger on the fifth fret and play second finger, fourth finger. Then we're going to switch strings and play first finger, second finger, fourth finger. Then we're going to switch strings again, play first finger, third finger, fourth finger. And that's our, our first octave, just like we played on a single string, that's our first octave. But we want to continue because we've got a bunch of notes left. So from our fourth finger, we're going to switch strings to our first finger, then to our third finger on the same string, fourth finger, switch strings to your second finger, fourth finger, switch strings to your first finger, and then your second finger. So you'll see that that's our second octave. If I start here and play, that's our second octave. Now we actually have one more note because our scale goes whole tone, whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. So if this is our, our third octave, that's our first note. And then up to here, our next note is actually gonna be up here because that's one whole tone higher than our first note. And then we can play it back down. But here we're actually going to play one semitone below where we started and then back here. So the whole thing is going to sound like this. did is we just played an A major scale. That's our first shape. Our second shape here is going to start with our second finger on the seventh fret of the D string. From here I'm going to go second finger, fourth finger, switch strings to the first finger, then I'm going to play second finger, fourth finger, then I'm going to switch strings to my third finger, then I'm going to play fourth finger, I'm actually going to stretch out of the position to play the 5th fret with my 1st finger. Now you'll notice that's not actually in our position, but we do have a few more notes that are in the position beyond here. So we want to get to those notes, so we have to sacrifice our position for a sec. So we stretch to this note, then I'm going to play 2nd finger on the 7th fret, and then 4th finger on the ninth fret. So that's the first part of our position. We started here, and we played all the way up. And then we can play it back down. Now we want to continue down the scale, because we have a bunch more notes in this position. So from here, I'm going down a semitone to my first finger. Then I skip strings to my fourth finger, so I'm on the A string, fourth finger, ninth fret. Now we actually have to stretch again to get the 5th fret here. And then we're going to play our pinky on the ninth fret, 2nd finger on the 7th fret. Then we go back up from here. Because that's the end of our position, there's no more notes that we can access by stretching out of the position. I know our root is right here, but 
we don't really need to do that. So we're going to go back up from here. And there's our whole position. So when you're practicing this, practice starting on this note, playing all the way up to the highest note of the position, and then back down to where we started. And then we continue down to the lowest note of our position, and then back to where we started. That's the whole thing. played two positions of our major scale. Our next position is also going to start with our middle finger, this time on the 12th fret. You'll notice that we're using the same note for every, every position. We're always starting on an A. They're all the same. If we're going to start with our second finger on the 12th fret of the A string, and we'll continue like this. So, second finger, fourth finger, then we skip strings, first finger, second finger, fourth finger, change strings, first finger, third finger, fourth finger. Now when we change strings, we're going to go to our second finger, and we're going to play second finger, fourth finger, and then we have to stretch out of our position again with our first finger, but then we're back with our second finger, and then we play all the way up to our pinky. So that's the first part. Starting here, we go 2nd, 4th, 1st, 2nd, 4th, 1st, 3rd, 4th, 2nd, 4th, 1st, 2nd, 4th, and then back down, same thing. So we get here and we want to keep going. So we're going to play down to our first finger, then our fourth finger, second finger, and that's the bottom note of this position. So we continue back up, second, fourth, first, second, and that's our whole position. We just did three shapes and they all start with our middle finger. Now before we get into the last two shapes, I want to show you how you can actually start on any note. So what I mean is, if we wanted to start with our second finger on the low E string, the shape would be the same no matter what fret we started on. So let's start with our second finger on the eighth fret of the low E string, which happens to be a C. So we're going to end up playing a C major scale. And we're going to use the same shape we learned, our first shape. So I'm going to play second finger, fourth, first, second, fourth, first, third, fourth, first, third, fourth, second, fourth, first, second, fourth, and then back down the same way. It's exactly the same shape that we used when we were starting on the 5th fret. We just slid our whole hand, kind of like using a capo. So we could do the same thing with our 2nd position. Instead of starting on the 7th fret of the D string, I'm going to try starting on the 5th fret of the D string, and we'll plug in the same shape. 2nd finger, 4th, 1st, 2nd, 4th, 2nd, 4th, stretch for the 1st finger, 2nd, 4th finger and back down. Stretch with the first, then we're back with the fourth, second, fourth, second, first, fourth, second, and that's where we started. And then we continue down, first finger, fourth finger, second finger, stretch with the first finger, then we're back with our fourth finger, and then the second finger is the end of this position. We play back up, stretch, so we've transposed the scale to a different key 
even though the shape is exactly the same. So let's try doing the third position now. I'm going to start with my second finger on the eighth fret, and I'm going to play my scale in this position, which is our third shape. So I get second finger, fourth, first, second, fourth, first, third, fourth, second, fourth, stretch with the first finger, second, fourth, and then back down, second, stretch with the first finger, fourth finger, second, fourth, third, first, fourth, second, first, fourth, second, and then we continue. It's hard to keep track of for me saying it. Second, first, fourth, second, and then we go back to where we started. So that's how we can move these shapes around. And it doesn't matter where you start. I could do that same shape starting on, let's say, the fourth fret. Or I could do my first shape starting on the twelfth fret.